Ruben. Diga, I have a lady here. She's actually still trembling under the glory. Earlier, she was praying, not even for her own healing. She was praying for her mother's healing. She just came up earlier and she received her healing. She was praying for her mother's back pain to be healed. As she was praying for her mother's back pain to be healed, she began to receive her own healing and her back pain went away as well. Two years now, sharp pain, intense pain in her back. Hasn't been able to stand up properly, move her neck properly. She said, the pain is gone now. And this happened while you were praying for your mom. Yes, I prayed for the Lord to heal my mom when you said to, to touch the word, it, it hurts. I put my hand on my mom and I started praying. And I asked for the Lord also for him to deliver me from something personal. <laughs> he said, you are delivering my daughter. <laughs> he said, you are delivering my daughter. His presence is here. You would be amazed at how many people tell us that they receive their healing while believing for someone else to be healed. There's just something about the atmosphere of faith. And now this girl is telling us that the Lord also set her free, set her free, broke the chains of what bound her. No sessions, no rituals, no special prayers, no renouncing this or that, just the presence of the Holy Ghost. That's what does it. It's the way Jesus did it. It's in his presence. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.